Hey guys, what is up? And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this thumbnail right here in under 10 minutes using Photoshop. It's super easy. And this is generally how I make each of my thumbnails. Each one's a little bit different, but overall they each follow this sort of guidelines on how I make them. So hopefully you guys find this video helpful. So let's get started. So to get started, it's very simple, just click in the top left, go to File, New, and now we want to set a name for our thumbnail. So I'm just going to name it Thumbnail, just like that. Make sure these both are set to Pixels, and I'm going to set the width to 1280 by 720 which is the normal resolution for a thumbnail on YouTube. So your settings should look like this. Once you've got that, click OK, and now we're ready to begin creating our thumbnail. Now we're going to need a few things, we're going to need the background to our thumbnail, and we're going to need a few different images or whatever else you want to put in there besides the text. So for background, you want to click in the top left, go to File, Open, and now we want to select our background. So go to wherever you saved it on your computer, go to your desktop, this PC, whatever it is, and find your background. Now my background's right here, so I'm just going to double click that and here's my background. Now there's a few different ways to get backgrounds. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail, but you can go onto Google Images and there's a lot of backgrounds on there. Um, some of them may be copyrighted, so just check that before you use them. Also, there's also a lot of free websites out there that have backgrounds on there, so that's also a good way to do it. And I'll actually link a couple in the description in case you guys want to check them out. But anyway, once you've got your background right here, you want to go to Select All, go to Edit, copy and click on the tab in the far left which should be the thumbnail we just created go to edit paste and here we have our background now to move it around you want to click on the move tool in the top left and select show transform control so that's check marked and now we're able to move it around so I'm going to maybe make it a little bit bigger I'm going to rotate it a little bit just so it looks good and once I've got that all set up click the check mark at the top of your screen and then it'll save your settings so once you've done that, you're pretty much done with the background. But before I move on, I want to show you guys one tip I found. It helps me out sometimes. On the left side of the screen, there's this option where you can create a rectangle. So I'm just going to make a rectangle. It's going to be a black rectangle across the entire thumbnail. And if we go to the right side, you can see we can set the opacity to around 50%. And I'm sure there's an easy way of doing easier way of doing this, but I find this works also. And once you set your opacity to around 50%, as you can see, it kind of darkens it. And that helps make the text stand out from the background a little bit more. So once you've got your background all set up, we can begin adding text. So to do that, it's really easy. On the left side, you can see we have the text tool right here. If we just click on that, we can click anywhere on our thumbnail and we can just start adding text. Now at first, when you do that, you might have text that's tiny. It might be like 10 points. So what you want to do is you want to enlarge it. So I'm using around 200. I'm going to set mine to around 220. That's pretty big. So once you've got that, you can begin adding text. Now in case you're wondering what font I'm using, I'm using the Babis New font and that's a free font you can download. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by saying how to and I'm going to move that down by clicking on the move tool. And as you can see, we can move that down. And now that we've got that, we can begin editing the text. So on the right side here, you can see we have our how to text. If we right click on that and go to blending options, you can see we have a bunch of different options. And there's really endless possibilities when it comes to editing your text. There's so much you can do. But for this video, I'm just going to add a drop shadow and a gradient overlay. So to edit the drop shadow, you just check mark it, then click on the drop shadow tab, and then it'll bring you here. And from here, there's so much stuff you can do. You can edit the size of it. I'm going to set the angle to 90 degrees, and I'm going to set the distance to that looks about good. Size, maybe make it a little bit bigger and make the spread a little bit bigger. So that looks pretty good. It kind of darkens it, helps it stand out. So once you've got that all set up, you want to go over to Gradient. And this is just optional. I mean, you don't have to do this. This is just what I do. But check mark Gradient, click on Gradient, and set the opacity to around 30%. That looks pretty good. And now we're good to go. So if we click OK, it'll save our settings. And now we can begin adding more text. But instead of having to repeat the entire process over again, all you have to do is right click on the text we just made, go to Duplicate Layer, set it, the text name to whatever we want, click OK, 
And now we have two layers, and now they can both be edited, and it's much faster than repeating the process of, you know, setting the gradient and setting the drop shadow and all of that. So I'm just going to name this, or say create, how to create, and actually that fits in pretty well. And now I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this layer again, so I have a third layer. So once you've done that, click OK, and now we should have a third layer we can edit. So if we click the text tool again, click on that, the right side of the text, drag over it, click backspace and now we can say how to create thumbnails and as you can see we're already making good progress we're almost done at in fact and at this point we can make change it however we want you can actually move it around like this or you can just move it or you can resize it by doing that so I'm going to resize it just like that click the check mark at the top of the screen and it will save my text so now I'm just going to go ahead and import a Photoshop icon right here so I'm going to go to the top left go to file open and I'm going to select my Photoshop icon and I'm going to double click that and here it is. So now I want to go to select just like we did with the background, go to all, edit, copy, and now go to our thumbnail again, go to edit, paste. And this is going to be way too big because it's a much higher resolution. So you just want to make this smaller just by doing this, drag it down just like that and make it the size you want. So I think that looks pretty good, maybe like that. You can even resize it, although it might get a little bit distorted, but I think that works pretty good. And by the way, guys, when looking for icons like this and extra images to put in your thumbnail, make sure you download ones that are PNGs. That way they have a transparent background and they won't look weird when putting them into your thumbnail. So once you've got it to the size you want, click on the check mark at the top, right click on it, go to blending options, and now we can begin editing it just like we did with the text. So I'm going to go ahead and add a drop shadow like I did before. I'm going to make it just like I did with the text. I'm going to say 90 degrees, make the spread a little bit more distance like that size. There we go. That looks pretty good actually. And once you've got it, just click OK. And now we're pretty much done. So that's pretty much it guys. This is a very simple thumbnail. It only takes a few minutes to make and it's really going to help because it's going to help draw more attention to your videos. So it always helps making a good thumbnail. Now you guys can put way more work into it than I did. This is just a simple one. But from here you can save it by clicking the top left. Go to file, save as, go to JPEG down here. Click on JPEG or you can use PNG. It's up to you. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Click save. Now you want to set a quality, so I always go with a large quality, maximum quality. Click OK, and now we should be good. So as you can see, here's our thumbnail. So it's as simple as that, guys. It only took a few minutes, and it's really going to help draw more attention to our videos. And hopefully I didn't go too quickly. I don't normally make Photoshop tutorials, so I've still got a lot to learn about it. But there's a ton you can do with Photoshop. This is just touching on the surface, but this is basically how I make all of my thumbnails. So I hope you guys did find this tutorial helpful. Drop a like if you did. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.